Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So this is my third like book update of the day. Um, I'm taking books away with me on holiday. So I think this is book up book number 11 when I pop it up. It's called Then She Was Gone, um, A Missing Girl, A Buried Secret. So it's a number one bestseller seller by Lisa Jewell. And um, so I'm doing this challenge before I forget. Um, it's 19 books in 2019. Now, the Wacky World of Lottie set the challenge, but there was various different questions and you had to pick a book to match, but I was rubbish at that. So I just thought, I'm just going to try and read 19 books um, because I just got out of reading and um, I'm really getting back into it. So this is what I'm loving. If there's a challenge at home and you think, I can't make 19 books, I'll never do it. Just even try and read a book a month or a book every two months or try and get into a habit. So that's what panning's helped me get into the habit of um, actually putting body lotion on rather than leaving it in the bathroom and actually just wanting to get through products rather than building them all up. So I've really enjoyed that. Um, and reading, the, the challenge, I'm actually really enjoying reading again. So that's all I have to say on that. Um, so this book, it says, she was 15, her mother's golden girl, she had her whole life ahead of her, and then in the blink of an eye, Ellie was gone. Ten years on, Laurel has never given up hope of finding Ellie, and then she meets a charming, charismatic stranger who sweeps her off her feet. But what really takes her breath away is when she meets his nine-year-old daughter, because his daughter is the image of Ellie. Now all those unanswered questions that have haunted Laurel come flooding back. What really happened to Ellie? And who still has secrets to hide? So it says, dark and claustrophobic, heartfelt and moving. Then she was gone, packs a huge emotional punch. I love it. So that's by an author, C.L. Taylor, author of The Missing. Oh, yeah, um, I got this from my friend. Um, she's got a Kindle, but when she goes on holiday, she'll pick books up in the airport and she'll pass them on to me. So five star reviews for when she was gone. So it says here, I could not get enough of this book and I'm devastated that I've finished it. A perfect book for holiday, isn't it? A real page turner. If you only read one book this year, make sure it's this one. Lisa Jill grabs you from the first page and doesn't let you go. Possibly the most incredible novel I've ever read. Thrilling and impossible to put down. Lisa Jewell has done it again. Poignant and heartbreaking. Harrowing yet tender. Um, left me breathless, shaking with adrenaline and blown away. Wow, <laughs> that is some, um, yeah, those are some quotes there. It doesn't attribute them to anybody, but on the next page you get the quotes from various different authors and magazines and newspapers. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the, reading this. So my friend reads all these kind of psychological thrillers, um, which I, I generally don't tend to be the type of books I pick up, but I will read anything, um, apart from horrors. I don't read those anymore. Um, but I like a thriller that's not too scary. So yeah, this is coming in my suitcase with me and I'm really looking forward to reading that. So thanks for joining me guys. Speak to you soon. Bye.